गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन दिस इज क्लास टेंथ सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स चैप्टर नंबर थ्री पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल्स लेक्चर नंबर टू इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर चिल्ड्रन आई मेड यू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट अ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल देर इज वन मोर काइंड ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन इन टू वेरिएबल before we switch to that let us recall the previous concept once in my previous video children i made you understand the representation of a pair of linear equation is of two kinds number 1 algebraic representation whenever you will be having any kind of word problem given using two different variables you can form a pair of linear equation in two variables fine the another one was the graphical representation children you are very much aware about it that whenever we are going to plot the coordinates which are based on any of the pair of linear equations so for a linear equation the graph will always be a straight line now the first condition was intersecting lines when you are going to draw two straight lines which are basically based on the word problem of algebraic expressions then there is the very first condition which is based on intersecting lines so here you can see that both the lines are going to be intersect each other fine another case was related to parallel lines when again you are going to draw the graph of both the lines both the lines theek hai then the graph is basically showing that the lines are parallel to each other means there is no point of intersection between both of them and the third case was coincident lines here what you have to do first of all you are just going to plot the coordinates of the first line in the same manner you are going to plot the coordinates of the second line when you are going to draw the line one line will definitely overlap the another one so this is this was case number 3 this i have already discussed with you in my lecture number 1 now the question arises is it mandatory every time that without drawing uh, the lines on the cartesian plane or without graphical representation we cannot judge what kinds of line will be drawn like whether the lines will be intersecting or they will be coinciding each other or the lines will be parallel now the answer of this question is yes there is another method also so for that what is to be done basically that method is based on the ratio of the coefficients of the variable present in a pair of linear equation so let's start today's lecture generalized form of a pair of linear equation in two variables this is written here children this is a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 what we are going to do here children you can easily come to know that a1 and a2 they are the numerical coefficients of variable x b1 and b2 are the numerical coefficients of y and c1 and c2 are the constant terms now on the basis of ratio of these coefficients as well as constant we can judge whether the lines will be intersecting or they are coinciding each other or the lines are parallel so case number 1 if a1 upon a2 means the coefficient of x in first equation and the coefficient of x in second equation is not equal to b1 upon b2 what is b1 b2 coefficient of y in equation number 1 and coefficient of y in equation number 2 they are not forming the equal ratio then the lines will be intersecting to each other and having exactly one solution or i can call it a unique solution you have seen in the previous video even i have also i have shown you just now also see this was the graph of the intersecting line here you can see children that both the lines are going to be intersect each other exactly at one point so that very point will be considered as the solution of the pair of linear equation so that's why it is said that exactly one solution will exist and what kind of system it will be the pair of linear equation will be called consistent fine whenever the solutions are going to be exist 
इन दैट केस द सिस्टम ऑफ द पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन विल बी कंसिस्टेंट ऑलवेज बट इफ देर इज नो सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्टिंग लाइक इन द केस ऑफ पैरल लाइन देन द सिस्टम विल बी इनकन्सिस्टेंट ओके लेट एस स्विच टू द केस नंबर टू इफ ए वन अपॉन ए टू मीन्स द कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन अपॉन कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इन इक्वेशन नंबर टू इज इक्वल टू बी वन अपॉन बी टू दैट यू नो वेरी वेल वट डू वी कॉल देम इज इक्वल टू सी वन अपॉन सी टू मीन्स द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स कॉन्स्टेंट इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन कॉन्स्टेंट इन इक्वेशन नंबर टू दे ओल आर इक्वल देन वट कैन वी से दैट द लाइन्स आर को इन साइडिंग ईच अदर एंड देर विल बी इन फाइनाइटली मैनी सोल्यूशन एग्जिस्ट दैट अगेन आई हैव शोन यू जस्ट नाउ वन लाइन विल ओवरलैप द अनदर लाइन एज द चिल्ड्रन एज चिल्ड्रन द सोल्यूशन आर गोइंग टू बी एग्जिस्ट सो इट विल बी कंसिस्टेंट सिस्टम अगेन अंडरस्टूड ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू स्विच टू केस नंबर थ्री इफ ए वन अपॉन ए टू इज इक्वल टू बी वन अपॉन बी टू बट दे आर नॉट इक्वल टू सी वन अपॉन सी टू मीन्स कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन डिवाइडेड बाय कॉफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स इन इक्वेशन नंबर टू इज इक्वल टू कॉफिशियंट ऑफ वाई इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन कॉफिशियंट ऑफ वाई इन इक्वेशन नंबर टू बट दे आर नॉट इक्वल टू द रेशो ऑफ द कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म देन द लाइन्स विल बी पैरल टू ईच अदर एंड विल बी हैविंग नो सोल्यूशन सो एज देर विल बी नो सोल्यूशन मीन्स द सिस्टम विल बी कॉल्ड इनकन्सिस्टेंट आर यू गेटिंग मी फाइन now for better clarity of the concept i have taken one question that is question number 2 from exercise 3.2 of ncert on comparing a1 upon a2 b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2 find out whether the lines representing the pair of linear equations intersect at one point means whether the lines are intersecting or they are parallel or they are coincide each other right so this is first part which i am going to take 5x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0 now because i have to find basically the ratio of the coefficients so definitely both the equations must be compared with the generalized form of a pair of linear equation so on comparing the given equations with the standard or i can call it the generalized form of linear equations now i am comparing them you know children what was the generalized form that was a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 so after comparing you can come to know that a1 is 5 b1 is minus 4 and c1 is 8 a2 is 7 b2 is 6 and c2 is minus 9 now here you can see that 5 upon 7 is not equal to minus 4 upon 6 means a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 so means the lines will be intersecting if lines are intersecting then how many solution does it have yes it will be having one solution and the system will be called consistent getting okay now i am going to take second part of the same question please pay attention This is nine x plus three y plus twelve is equal to zero. Eighteen x plus six y plus twenty four is equal to zero. Again, I am going to compare a pair of linear equation with the generalized form. Through that, children, you know, a one is nine, a two is eighteen, b one is three, b two is six, c one is twelve, c two is twenty four. Now, nine upon eighteen is equal to three upon six is equal to twelve upon twenty four. All are equal to one by two. It means a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2 so when all the ratios are going to be equal then what was the condition that lines are going to be coinciding each other and the system will definitely be consistent because there will be infinitely many solutions existing now same question third part i am taking 6x minus 3y plus 10 is equal to 0 2x minus y plus 9 is equal to 0 Again, comparing a one will be six, a two will be two, b one will be minus three, b two will be minus one, c one is ten, c two is nine. See, children, six upon two means that is three upon one. 
This is three upon one, and this is again minus three upon minus one. Minus sign are going to be cancelled. So three upon one is equal to three upon one, but they are not equal to the ratio of the constant values. Means a one upon a two is equal to b one upon b two, but that is not equal to c one upon c two. So the lines are parallel. No solution exists, and the system will be inconsistent. Correct. Now. in such kind of questions basically sometimes it is asked suppose if the solutions are going to be exist like i told you for consisting coinciding as well as for unique solution there will be the solution existence now suppose if he asks find out the solutions as well using the graphical representation definitely in the same manner you have to do as i explained you in lecture number 1 using this particular pair of equations you have to find out the coordinates means x as well as y means abscissa and ordinate then plot them both the lines will be represented on the cartesian plane through that you can judge as you will be knowing that the whether the lines will be intersecting or they will be coinciding so through that you can easily come to know that which solutions will be existing okay for that for better clarity of the concept i am just going to take one more question in which the solution is also demanding right half the perimeter of a rectangle rectangular garden whose length is 4 meter more than its width is 36 meter means this 36 meter is basically the half of the perimeter of a rectangular garden find the dimensions of the garden so let length of the garden be x meters and its width be y meters children you know very well how to calculate the perimeter of the rectangle that is 2 into length plus breadth so 2 into x plus y correct now according to question half of the perimeter of a rectangular garden so perimeter was what 2 into x plus y i am going to take its half both are going to be cancelled and it is equal to 36 so through this i have come to know that x plus y is equal to 36 understood now what else is given that length is 4 meter more than its width length length is x this is more than its width by 4 meter so means x is equal to y plus 4 so through this again i have calculated one more equation that is x minus y is equal to 4 now children what i have to tell basically here through graphical representation i have to tell what will be the length and what will be the breadth so first of all i have taken one equation that is x plus y is equal to 36 so through here you can calculate the value of y y is equal to 36 minus x now here in place of x i am going to put 20 so definitely 36 minus x will be 16 if you are putting x is equal to 24 then 36 minus 24 will be 12 so which coordinates basically i have got to be plotted that is 20 comma 16 and 24 comma 12 getting this we have done this is not new for you now table for the another one that is x minus y is equal to 4 so what will be the y that is x minus 4 correct now i am going to insert the different values of x so that i can get the different values of y x is equal to 10 so y will be 6 x is equal to 16 So here, if you are putting sixteen minus four, you will be getting twelve. So what are the coordinates? Ten comma six, sixteen comma twelve. Now the graphical representation of the same. Look, children, this is the Cartesian plane. Here, this is x-axis. This is y-axis. Fine. Just this is very simple. Here I have taken the gap of two two. Here also for my convenience, I have taken the gap of two two. what were the coordinates the coordinates were 20 comma 16 means you have to take x coordinate as 20 and y coordinate as 16 getting the next coordinate was 24 comma 12 so from x i have taken 24 and from y i have taken 12 getting so these were the two coordinates which i have plotted over here and i have just drawn a straight line fine and here i have written straight line as well this is x plus y is equal to 36 in the same manner next two coordinates will also be plotted 
now again the another line is formed look you can see which were the coordinates 10,6 16,12 10,6 will be here and 16,12 will be here now again another straight line is formed through this you can easily judge that the representation what kind of representation it is it is graphical representation and the lines are intersecting to each other at what particular point they are going to intersect they are intersecting at 20,16 means the length will be 20 and the breadth will be 16 so through this you can easily calculate the solution of a pair of linear equation now the last question which is very much important you will be having a linear equation given that is 2x plus 3y minus 8 is equal to 0 children using different condition like intersecting lines coinciding lines as well as parallel lines you have to form some more equations using the same given equation fine write another linear equations in two variables such that the geometrical representation of the pair so formed is number one intersecting lines so for intersecting line children you know very well you will be having given equation is this for intersecting line what is the condition a1 upon a2 should not be equal to b1 upon b2 so what kind of equation you can take for that you had this equation given 2x plus 3y minus 8 look which one i have taken now any line which is intersecting with equation number 1 it can be 3x plus 2y minus 9 3x plus 2y minus 7. Why? Because the same condition should be fulfilled. Means a1 upon a2 must not be equal to b1 upon b2. Here if I am going to take a1. What is a1? 2. What is a2? 3. What is b1? 3. And what is b2? 2. So 2 upon 3 is not equal to 3 upon 2. 3 upon 2 is not equal to 2 upon 3. So through this definitely we can... Come to know that the lines will be intersecting. Now the next is parallel lines. Same equation you had. The condition for parallel lines is a1 upon a2 is not is equal to b1 upon b2 but not equal to c1 upon c2. See children, this was the standard equation 2x plus 3y minus 8. I am going to keep both of them all together so that you can better understand. a1 upon a2. What will be a1 upon a2? This is 2 upon 6 means I have got 1 upon 3. Correct? Now I am going to take 3 upon 9. That will also be 1 upon 3. But in question it was given minus 8 and here it is I have taken 7. So means 1 upon 3 is equal to 1 upon 3 but not equal to 8 upon 7. So means the condition for the parallel line is satisfied. You can take as many as equation that depends on you but the condition should be satisfied. Now the third is for coinciding. A1 upon A2 must be equal to B1 upon B2 must be equal to C1 upon C2. So whatever equation you will be having you can take multiple of 2, multiple of 3 using the same equation. The same I have done here children just to see. 2x plus 3y minus 8 was the equation. I have just multiplied the complete equation by 2. So what I have got? 4x plus 6y minus 16 is equal to 0. So that a1 upon a2 must be equal to b1 upon b2 and c1 upon c2. They all three must be equal. Understood? You could even multiply it by 3 also. I have multiplied by it 3. So what I have got 6x plus 9y minus 24 is equal to 0. Understood? So now what will be your maths homework? You have to do question number 3. Question number 4. And question number 7 of exercise 3.2 of NCRT. Thank you children.